What is going on YouTubers, you're here from Maji and Jay. Today I'm about to show you how to upgrade the cluster or the speedometer from this to a digital one. The process is super simple. First and foremost, I went ahead and purchased this directly from eBay, but you can find it on Amazon. I believe they have it with the Prime service. I will be providing the part number, but in case you want to have it right now, well, this is the box that it came in and this is the part number right here you can go ahead and search that on google and it'll give you many options on where to purchase but again i have provided the link below in case you just want to go ahead and click it real quick i always try to find you the best prices out there when i provide links and this is what it used to look like so this was right here and as you guys can tell it looks very very nasty in the sense that well it doesn't provide a lot of information um you know just lights come on when you place it in reverse or you had the 4x4 uh, activated and um, when you had the differential locked in in place so on and so forth but again it is not enough now i have an actual speedometer it tells me how many miles how many hours i have ran the machine and it tells me here my gear position as well so as you guys can tell there's a lot of options you have versus the older one and this will fit i believe from rhinos from 2004 all the way to 2008 and a lot of people have questions i have um well i went ahead and uh requested a uh forum or a group on youtube to uh accept me of course and i have learned a lot from them but a lot of people had questions about the cluster upgrade so that's why i'm making this video here and for those YouTubers who own this machine and are wondering if they can upgrade it, well, yes, you do have an option. So the first thing is that when you get this and you remove the old one, it is held by a few clips from the side here, the other side and the top. And all you have to do is open your hood like I did and you have access to this from the very back. I'm not sure if you guys can see that but right there you have access to it all you got to do is push it in from the very top and also from the sides make sure that you push in the clips and it'll come out so after you do so with the old one all you got to do is with your hands or you can get a pry opening tool you pull it towards you and it comes right out very easy there's no screws um, that need to be removed um, at least for this one here which again is the stock one once you do that you're gonna find two connections that look like this and this is also where a lot of people get confused these two connectors after you remove them from the actual unit here from the harnesses you won't need to reuse them the new cluster is gonna have three different connections which your Rhino is already equipped with. So those three connections, I'm gonna show you right now, they come with these covers, okay? This is to prevent corrosion inside of those uh, connectors. You have to remove these three. The wires, let me show you. The wires are located right around this bar below your current speedometer. So if you guys look closely, this is my connection. I have one here, I got the other here, and finally, the gray one. Let me go ahead and remove the old ones here so that it makes it a little bit easier to see. So you guys can see one, two in the middle, and three, the black one. Those are the new three that you need to use in order to connect the upgraded cluster. And it's gonna come with these three bolts. And you have to install them it's just the nut when you push in the new uh, cluster you're gonna see three bolts sticking out just put the nut on and I believe these are eight millimeters make sure they're tight and the old connectors here you're not going to use this is where the old cluster was connected to these you're not going to use again a lot of people are trying to find adapters for these in order to connect the new one not realizing that your Rhino from 2004 all the way to 2008 is already equipped with it. So it is a simple 
plug and play and now like I said before I am getting a whole bunch of new information on here let me go ahead and set the key to on position and you guys can see that I have now my shifter selector even the park which is the emergency brake if I release it it turns off if I place this in high it'll move low high again neutral and of course we had the parking which also works not only that but you get the odometer as well you get the speedometer as I said before you get the hours and also when you lock into 4x4 it'll tell you right here when you are locked into it which is a really nice feature you can even hear it when I press it you can hear the mechanism engaging and disengaging but the coolest part is that you can see it here as well as when you lock the differential now something else that you need to do it has to do with the temperature um, indicator here there's a sensor that comes with the new cluster okay and it's this one here it goes you had to remove the two seats as I did already and then you had to remove that middle console part and on the very top here around this area you're gonna find this is the thermometer sensor and basically it measures the temperature of your engine so this is the old one here and this is the new one you have to upgrade to it otherwise with the old sensor um, it is not going to read the temperature and again this comes in the box like that the sensor is already included which is a really nice thing so all you got to do is just bolt it in I believe this is a 12 millimeter um, size and uh, yeah just make sure that you take this one out and quickly insert the new one otherwise coolant is going to start leaking connect the uh, same wire that was there before with the previous one and that's all you have to do and now my cluster is reading the temperature so again very easy to do it takes about I would say 15 20 minutes the most and uh, again 100% worth it with this being said guys let me know down below if you have any questions again I have provided the links and thank you very much for watching comment subscribe and share and I'll see you guys on my next one